Hello and welcome to 360 Sports on Trust TV. It's time to talk sports. As always, uh, I'm Adini Ajishafe, taking you through the world of sports. This morning, we have to quickly look at happenings in the world of sports. Well, let's talk about uh, volleyball, starting from Nigerian Volleyball Federation, inviting 14 players ahead of under-19 and under-21 uh, Federation of International Volleyball Championship. 14 players have been invited by this particular federation, and now they will be camping in Kadri. Uh, uh, for them to be able to prepare ahead of the competition. Well, for the under-19, it's going to be for strictly for girls, while the under-21 for boys and girls, and they'll be pre preparing ahead of the competition that will be coming up in Phuket, Thailand. Good one there. At least the 14 players should be able to justify why they were called upon and at least do well for Nigeria as this uh, campaign uh, right now has uh, actually uh, started. Good one there from Volleyball Federation. MVBF invites 14 players ahead of under-19 and under-21 competition. Now let's go straight to basketball where uh, the uh, ministry, Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport right now they uh, appoint tax force to handle uh, the Tigers qualifier and BAA, that is Basketball African League Games. Uh, well, as it is, we know that a lot of uh, problem has followed the election uh, concerning the election of the MBBA. But right now, they just have to set up a four-man committee that we see into the D Tigers uh, play in the uh, that is a, a FIBA qualifier for World Cup qualifiers for them to perform very well, and also for the Basketball African League, oh, they just need this uh, these hands to get everything right since the federation is not uh, on seat. So four-man committee will be seeing the affairs of that particular, uh, those two competitions where Nigeria will be playing. Now you will be facing Angola uh, in the qualifiers and it's going to be a tricky one. We know how Angola uh, basketball team can be so good. So Nigerian D Tigers needs to prepare ahead of the competition. That's why the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport organized, uh, set up a four-man committee to see into that particular uh, competition. Good one there from the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport. And still talking sport now, we also look at uh, uh, FCT, that is Federal Capital Territory Football Association League to kickstart on Saturday. 59 clubs will be playing in this edition of this year, year uh, uh, FA League that will be starting on Saturday at the Old Parade Ground, Area 10, here in Abuja, by 3 p.m. The, the LOC, that's the local organizing committee, said that they actually grouped them to 12 groups, the 59 teams that will be participating. And all the teams are about to be ready so make sure who will win this year's edition it's still very open but it will be starting tomorrow where grassroots football will be at its best for nigerians to watch 59 teams 12 groups at the uh, old parade ground here in abuja good one there coming from the fct fa football session uh, league coming up in abuja now we look at fifa under 20 women we found that 20 women uh the right now the the coach chris danjuma has called 31 players uh to camp falconers to resume camping ahead of congo clash we're playing against congo and we just want to make sure we defeat them uh we won the, our game before this particular qualifier will be coming up we were able to win 11 nil uh, by aggregate now we are preparing to also face Congo, while the 31 players are being called now, according to Chris Danjuma, is for them to be aware that they have a tasking job to do and they will be camping. The first will be coming up uh, against Congo uh, in an away game, while the second will be in Lagos at Mubalaji Johnson Sport Arena in Lagos. Hopefully, our ladies will do us proud in this particular uh, uh, qualifiers, we just so that they can defeat Congo and go ahead to play at the World Cup. See, talking about uh, sport here on 360 Sports Show. Now we move away from the FCT, uh, FD, from the uh, Falcon and stories. Now let's go straight to other stories. Trending, we will talk about MPFL. Nigerian Professional Football League may start on the 21st of this of uh, November, according to. The LMC, League Management Company, they come on with uh, is a probable date anyway, saying that maybe if everything goes well, although subject to the agreement from the Club Owner Association of Nigeria, COAN, when they meet and see if that particular date will be visible enough for them uh, to do the M to start the MPFL. And if not, it actually move to first week 
of December. But as it is right now, a lot of preseason matches are ongoing. We have the Ireland Cup, the Otasolo Cup, and not forgetting the Unity Cup also taking place in Abuja. So many clubs, uh, the 20 teams are really trying to get themselves in good shape uh, ahead of the MPFL season. As we said earlier, it may start on 21st of uh, this month or maybe to shift to the first week of December. According to the LMC League Management Company, the body that at least administered the league in Nigeria, waiting for the uh, approval uh, by the time the uh, club organization of Nigeria meets to see about the logistics of all the clubs that will be participating in this year's league. Good one there. At least finally, we are having a, 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 at least hope that our league will, be st will soon be kick-starting in Nigeria. We can't wait to see uh, Kano Pilat, Nasarawa United, Flatu United, all of them at least going around playing football. Now we move away from there. We talk about a particular Nigerian. His name is Usman Kamaru. Usman Kamaru to defend his belt in the UFC 268. Uh, he will be fighting against uh, Kobe Covington. Kobe Covington uh, fought against Usman Kamaru. In the first time they met, uh, it was Usman Kamaru that won in the fifth round by technical knockout. And this time around, they will, he will be challenging him again concerning that belt. Uh, UFC Ultimate Fight Championship 268 will be coming up in New York and that fight will be coming up on Saturday. Hopefully the Nigerian Kamaru Usman will be able to win against uh, Kobe uh, Covington. A lot of Nigerians have been, they've been supporting this uh, uh, fighter, hoping that he will be able to defend his belt. Although he did well against uh, Yorge Masvida in all the fight he has uh, taken, but we're just hoping that uh, Kamaru Usman will be able to defend this bear because of the fact that both of them have almost the same style. But it's going to be uh, a good one if uh, the man uh, that has been uh, labeled the nightmare can win his fight. Wishing uh, Kamaru Usman all the best as he faces uh, uh, Kobe Covington over there in America. Now we move straight to NBA, National Basketball Association. Los Angeles Lakers lost without LeBron James. LeBron James was down due to abdominal injury and uh, the his team, they lost against Oklahoma City Thunder in their game that was played at the Staples Center. It was a game that was so painful because they blew their lead and lost by three points against Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's look at the result now. The result of the, uh, a lot of matches, a uh, game was actually uh, played. Uh, now you look at Detroit Pistons 98 against Philadelphia 76 one oh nine there uh the uh philadelphia winning that particular game atlanta hawks 98 against utah jazz 116 while boston celtic traveled to play against miami heat and they won 95 against 78 phoenix zone 123 against uh Houston rocket who lost their second straight uh game 111 there while los angeles lakers blew it and they lost uh, to Oklahoma City Thunder 107 to 104 uh, while they were leading in the second quarter. Uh, it, well, that's a uh, sport at time. You never can uh, tell what's going to happen. They blew it. Although with the talisman, LeBron James, who is down with abdominal injury, uh, uh, Los Angeles Lakers now, uh, actually they won their last game. They, now they lost this one. It's as if without LeBron, they just have to get their ass together if they really want to do well. Anthony Davis tried his best, but it was not good enough as he lost that encounter against Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, from there, we talk about this particular story. Uh, talking about all the matches that was played in Europe yesterday in the Europa Cup, uh, Europa League. Let's look at the result. Uh, the result of this league, Europa League results. All the matches that was played. A lot of matches were played in the Europa League, and we have uh, to look at the result right now. Talking about the Europa League. Uh, well, good one for uh, uh, talking about uh, Victor Moses. Uh, he was able to score for Spartak Moscow in the Europa League uh, that was played over there. Uh, but the good is that a lot of Nigerians play, but Victor Mosi was outstanding against the uh, against Leicester City, Sparta Moscow. It was a one or draw, but Victor Mosi was able to score. You have Antwerp, Real Antwerp against Fanabasi, Fanabasi winning by three goals to nil. Olympic Marcel was a 2 2 draw against Lazio, while uh, uh, the team that did well also was uh, Braga, they won 4 2 against the Dugoret. You also have Napoli defeating Legia Warsaw by four goals to 
one Olympic Leone three new against Sparta uh, Praha why uh, Bromby drew one or draw against Rangers where uh, Balogu scored an own goal we well, also have Galatasaray they, they drew one or draw in their own match where well, the man on the screen Victor Moses he was the one that scored the goal against Leicester City he's used to uh, English players so he was able to celebrate very well good one for Victor Moses as he was able to score that goal that actually salvage a draw for his team in an away game. Sparta Moscow against uh, uh, Leicester City. One of draw. Good one for there. Those are the results in the Europa League. A lot of matches was played yesterday, but at least the icing on the cake is the fact that the Nigerian Victor Moses was able to score. Now, let's quickly uh, go to look at all the matches that will be coming up this weekend in the, uh, over there in Europe. Top matches this weekend in Europe. And I will be joining, I will I actually have in the studio with me, joining me to talk about all these matches is Josie James. Good to have you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. Now, let's look at the fixtures for this weekend. The top matches in Europe, Manchester United against uh, Manchester City, as we have all these fixtures for you there, I think we should be picking them one by one. Man United against Man City. Jose, looking at these uh, two, uh, two teams from the same city, it's a derby, it's a yes. big one. Two teams, the rivalry is high. Do you think Man City or Man United? Who do you think will win? Let me just stand out. It's always a dicey game when it comes to the uh, Manchester derby. Regardless of form, when it comes to Manchester Derby, everybody comes with their A game. Mm. Both teams, they come with their A game. So, um, Ole has had one or two over Guardiola when it comes to the Manchester Derby. So, for now, Manchester United are not doing too well and City are not doing too well. They are the English champions, they're trying to defend. But Ole has had last season a, a win and a draw. So I believe uh, this Saturday, Guardiola would want to have one over Ole. Hmm. You okay. believe he's going to have? He, yes. he will want to have one, one over, over Ole. Ole. Looking at the fact that uh, Ole Gunnar is really sitting on a time bomb. In fact, they are just tolerating him for the say three matches, right? Yes, but regardless of the the result of this Manchester derby, does not um, um, tell if Ole will be sacked or not. Hmm. So probably the board will just wave this match aside, but knowing that whatever happens, let's let's still watch and see what Ole will do. Okay, but for you, you think Guardiola will carry the day, right? No, I I I think I think they they will just it would be a, a, a slim margin. To be a slim margin, probably two one. Who three, have two. who have to? Which team will be having to? Man City. Are you serious? Yes, Man City. Manchester United fans they, they, will they, show they, you this they, morning. They, they will have to starve Manchester United with the ball. Starve them with the ball. So that if they want to win. Yes. Now, still talking about all the matches, uh, the big ones in Europe. We just told you about, uh, if you can have the fixtures there. Now, Manchester United against Man City. Josie just analyzed it. That, well, it will be tilting towards Guardiola uh, winning against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer team, Manchester United. Now, we look at Spain, La Liga, Satanda, Valencia against Atletico Madrid. It's going to be a big one at the Mestala Stadium. Do you think... Diego Simeone and his lads will be able to do well against uh, uh, Valencia, where at home is always a big one for them. Whenever they, they play them at yeah. Mestala, they always want to dominate you. Yeah, um, Atletico, they are La Liga champions. They, they need to prove that. They need to prove the word that it wasn't a fluke last season. So for them winning the league. Yes. So um, they have to bounce back. They, they've had um back to back loss in the champions league with liverpool so they have to bounce back in la liga regardless of the fact they're playing valencia they have to get the win they just have to get the they win have to get the win. now let's take another one now we go to italia so they are talking about the match the big one for this weekend is going to be a big one at the san siro giuseppe miza that's the place to be AC milan against inter milan Big match, big one, rivalry between the two teams for a long time. Yes, yes, for the Milan derby, uh, Milan has had um, a big one over AC. As Inter has had one over AC. For the past three games in the Milan derby, it has been Inter. Mm -hmm. The last one was 4-2 when Lukaku was there. But now Lukaku is not there, but we have 
Edin Dzeko there. And um, for AC Milan, they are doing exceptionally well in the league. Right now, they are joined top with um, Napoli, so they would like to stay up there. Dropping a point now, knowing that uh, Juve are not doing too well, you just have to try and pick these points before December. So when you cross into January, you know you are still in first or second, trying to fight for the Scudetto. Mm -hmm. If you don't do that now, picking these points, you might end up in the Europa uh, spot again. So for now, AC, they are in the right spot to, to win. They, 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 they have their players in, in, in form. Um, Zlatan is back from injury. Just by his age. Well. Yes. Oliver Giroud is doing well. So I, it, it might... It's, it's also a slim margin. Very, very slim. Yes, a slim margin. But I'll give it to AC Milan. You are going to give it to AC Milan, according to JFC. Looking at the Italians, so they are the big match that will be coming up over there already this weekend is going to be AC Milan against Inter Milan. Both of them sharing the same stadium, San Siro, as it's called, and also training ground. The rivalry is not from here, as you say, in our local finals. Well, uh, that will be a big match. Now, let's go to German Bundesliga. RB Leipzig against Borussia Dortmund. It will be a big one because Leipzig, we know, they are one of the top teams, surprising team uh giant killing team and yes. since the uh, uh the mother has moved to Bayern Munich now yes. uh Nagelsmann uh turned that the story of that team around, around. they've been start they've been very fantastic playing in the German Bundesliga and they'll be hosting Borussia Dortmund who we know for a while now in fact their last match was uh, uh not too a good disastrous. for them a disastrous one they yeah. lost that game and that's uh taking them to play against RB Leipzig do you see them bouncing back um, both teams will want to go for the win because um, during the mid midweek, Leipzig had a draw with PSG. PSG in the Champions League. Though PSG were a formidable team playing against uh, a PSG side. And uh, Dortmund losing at home to Ajax was, was not good. Was not good. Though Erling Haaland is not, um, is not in the team right now due to injury. Also, probably he might come back for the weekend game if he's fit enough to play. And uh, Dortmund being second chasing Bayern again, they do that every season. Probably this season, Bayern is not doing that exceptionally well. So this season might just be for Leipzig or Borussia, ba Dortmund. Uh, Borussia Dortmund. Okay. So, so this, th this particular game, um, it will go either way. The belly draw, it, 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 it's difficult for both teams to play and they play a, 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 a score draw but i'll give it to leipzig well leipzig should be wary of uh, this uh, that's this player Eli haaland uh, as it is right now uh they're considering the fact that the Nkunku did so well against yes. psg uh it's going to be a big fight between rb leipzig and yes. borussia dortmund, uh, dortmund yeah. uh, for this weekend uh, matches that will be coming up in german bundesliga that's going to be the biggest match a lot of people want to see what's going to happen between rb leipzig and borussia dortmund we know they are always a uh, pretender when it comes to german bundesliga this league are always trailing Bayern Munich uh, when the time comes when it matters Bayern will always take over and win the league and in fact a lot of people are even tired they want to see another team winning the Bundesliga now let's go to France French League one uh, a lot of matches will be played over the weekend but uh, a particular match will be standing now still talking about the fixtures uh, for this weekend over there uh, uh, you look at Badu Badu taking on PSG uh, is a match that a lot of people want to see what's going to happen between Badu versus PSG G. Do you think uh, Badu uh, can hold their own against PSG? Although we know we have a Nigerian there and Samuel Carlo is there. Yeah. But looking at the names in uh, PSG is like Ari of Stars, Angel Di Maria, Mbappe, Neymar, uh, Winadum, all of them but already. Can yeah. they withstand the heat? Um, Badu for years now have not been as good as they were. And PSG... Um, since the disruption of the league last season where Lille had to clinch the title from them, they are trying to reclaim their title back this season. And they are not doing that good like they were before. P PSG before, you, you will be, you'll be saying, okay, the score line should be 4-1, 5-0, but it's tight. Hmm. Every game PSG play now, it's so tight. They have to scrape to win 2-1, 
three two they always concede somehow they find a way to concede mm. they need to fix their defense okay if, if they don't do that but do might just shock them. shock them yes but do might just shock them if psg don't take chances well they could win that particular game those are the fixtures uh, top fixtures that will be coming up this weekend in the, uh, over there in uh, Europe. And now let's take the last story on the log. Quickly, we talk about uh, Newcastle United. They are on the verge of appointing Eddie Howe as the manager of that team. They call it the Magpies, and they could appoint Eddie Howe, uh, Bonham out uh, coach or manager. But as it is right now, he's getting so close, so, so close. Uh, Eddie Howe is going to be the manager of Newcastle United. Yeah, um, w what I what I feel that uh, the Newcastle management are trying to do is they're trying to keep Newcastle as a decent team, team. for probably next two seasons before they bring a top manager that can attract top players. So um, Eddie Howe is, is is that kind of coach that can stable stabilize it. Team. Yes. Then they will now. Are, are you seeing them bringing someone else after definitely, stabilizing the team? Definitely. Oh. Definitely. That should be like in two seasons from now. Once they can escape relegation this season, next season try and um, stay in the league or qualify for the conference, uh, Europa Conference mm -hmm. League, then from there they'll bring a top manager. That means that they always just like uh, uh, Avram Grant. Yes, he's like a Keteka. Keteka yeah. uh, manager. Yeah. Well, from, from the mouth of uh, Josie James, they are leveling uh, Eddie Howe, a, a, a transition coach. Well, well, that's football, you know, at times. We just have to get it right. We also hope uh, the best will happen to all the players out there, all the athletes out there who are into sport. Uh, thanks for coming to the show this uh, time. We also appreciate you. you. Thank you very much. Yes, that does it on 360. This sport, we've taken you around the world of sport. That's why it's level 360. As we always say, that sport is fitness and business. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.